Ladies and gentlemen, it's Brendan and I'm BMAX45 and today we're coming at with another little hobby news video. We're going to do some hobby news on Legion, Star Wars Legion by FFG, which is now AMG because they've moved companies. Um, we have two new expansions coming out in the near future. We have the uh, Saj Ventress operative expansion and the Clone Commander Cody Commander expansion um, here. Um, I think Asajj is set to come out sometime mid-month, um, so, you know, mid-March to end of March, and then Cody, I think, is, is middle of April, or by the end of April. So we're going to get into it here, we're going to take a look here. Um, so we got Asajj, and now the Asajj Ventress um, expansion, you see there, you, got, you can see her. Um, sculpt there it, it's all right I think it's kind of cool I think it probably look a little bit better in real life I think um, it's a little bit different the double lightsabers is something cool it's not something we've had yet um, I was hoping Ahsoka would come out at the same time but uh, it didn't um, there you can see um, well, actually it's in stock so I think actually I think it's technically out now I think this is the uh, the release date is right now Still says pre-order, but uh, but I believe that this is the time, um, and so we'll we'll see some new uh, command cards. We'll see um, some other things. I, I wonder if they're we're gonna get a card uh, like a, um, a bounty hunter card for her for for scum. That would be kind of cool. Um, but yeah, so that's. And then, of course, we've got the Clone Commander Cody. This one's set to come out a little bit later. Um, or at least, yeah, um, 4-21, so April 21st. Um, and it looks like you're going to be getting multiple minis because you're going to get his little crew there uh, along with him. So that's going to be cool. And then, of course, you got the main man himself. Um, yeah. Three plastic miniatures, one unit card. So it's kind of like a unit and a commander in the same token, which is kind of cool. Um, that looks like really cool. Um, I definitely, oh look, and there's like a dead droid there. That's actually really cool. Um, yeah, this is, I think it's gonna be really cool. Uh, really, really good. Uh, so I'm excited for Cody. Um, I just like clone commanders. They're just really good. Um, Rex is just an amazing uh, commander for the point cost. I definitely think uh, that this is something that's good. Um, I'm, I'm hoping to see Ahsoka in a little while. We always seem to be getting commanders for um, more commanders for the Republic and more operatives for um, the Separatists. Right now we have two two operatives that were released at the same time. Two Separatist Separatist operatives that were released at the same time as a Republic commando when we got anakin as a commander we got maul as an operative and now we're getting cody as a commander and asajj as an operative so i really hope that when they release uh, ahsoka i think the well i think the ahsoka that we're getting is going to be a rebel ahsoka so like star you know rebels um the with the um code name she had in, in star wars rebels i can't I'm, i can't think of it right now um fulcrum fulcrum uh, it, it, see figured it out um, but yeah, so we're we're gonna be getting that uh, first, and then we'll be getting a Republic Ahsoka later. But I'm hoping that the Republic Ahsoka is gonna be an operative, and at that time they will take uh, the opportunity to give us a um, Separatist commander, like maybe um, the Techno Union leader uh, would be a good one. Um, Wat Tambor, that would probably be something that would be really cool to get, um, and to kind of balance that misstep out having so little commander choices for separatists and having so many for republic but only like one operative because i think right now we have we have padme um as an operative and uh, i know we have a i know we have another one but we just don't have many operatives um at this point for republic which is a little sad because you can't use like 
four commanders. Not that you're going to, because it's really hard to play a game like that. They're so expensive, especially if you're doing Jedi. But uh, yeah, uh, so I'm I'm excited about this, and I'm hoping uh, to see what what comes of it. Um, right now, the Legion is doing way better, in my opinion, than X-wing. Um, I will do a little bit of X-wing news in this video, just a quick update. Um, they are doing some reprints this year. Um, they haven't really announced a lot. Uh, they're supposed to do reprints of like the YT-2400, the Imperial Gunboat, and the Imperial Bomber, which are ones that they have not done in 2.0, which is good. You know, get some of those old ships out there. But they're so focused on these standardized loadout cards, which are not really for competitive play. And I wouldn't even, wouldn't even want them for casual play. Because in, in my honest opinion... Uh, the standardized loadouts limit the game because uh, the game is about creativity uh, of you choosing your lists, and I think that um, I think that the standardized loadouts limit that creativity because it puts you in a box. But so it's not something I'm really uh, interested in, and one of the reasons why I've kind of been on hold with X-Wing because it just kind of feels like a dead game sometimes. Sometimes it feels like they're doing some cool stuff, and sometimes like the packs that they did in January and December, the um, pre-standardized loadout packs for the Battle of Coruscant and the Battle of Yavin. Uh, it just makes me feel like they've turned it into a dead game um, and that they're may way more concerned with Star Wars Scatterpoint, um, their new basically crisis protocol Star Wars game. But uh, I still like the things they're doing for Legion. I feel like they're doing a decent job for Legion. I feel like they've got more of a handle on that. And I hope that they continue with it. Um, can't wait to see Ewoks in the future. And uh, I'm still hoping for a Rancor. It's Return of the Jedi. 35th anniversary. Come on, guys. If we're going to get Ewoks, you might as well get us a Rancor and let's ride it. I want to I wanna ride Maul into battle on a Rancor. Ri you know, run right in and jump off and start meleeing people while the rancor picks them up and eats them so um anyways uh tell me what you guys think about this do you think uh what do you think of legion do you think legion's still going strong uh, are you excited for these new expansions are you excited for these kind of monthly uh releases where they're kind of doing one expansion per month instead of doing like a whole bunch in in like a three month chunk like basically do like a bunch of releases and then wait like two or three months before more releases um i think i like this i feel it's more uh, affordable that way and um you know i'm enjoying the just kind of building small amounts at, at once so that's really cool um so i think i'm definitely enjoying the way they're doing things for legion but tell me what you guys want what you guys like and tell me if you think that x-wing is alive if i should keep doing videos or if uh, it's a dead game but anyways uh as always it looks like that's the time we have for this video. If you enjoyed today's content, be sure to subscribe to the channel, uh, hit the like button, and uh, ring the bell for notifications so you don't miss a single minute of the fun. That's all for now, folks.